Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video and this is really bad news and really sad news and I just got to talk about this today. I had another video that I was going to put out talking about all of the brand new Fortnite BR news, but that can wait as this seriously upsets me and this really ruined my morning for a little bit as this is just so awful what Epic Games is doing to save the world right now. So basically TLDW, T Too Long Didn't Watch. They killed Save the World, and I'm going to be reading it and discussing it in today's video, and I really hope you all stick around as this really needs to be talked about, and I know some people already have. Demon Joe France made a really good video, check that out, and I linked him last time I talked about Save the World, and that's just because he's such a good speaker on it, and seriously, I'd stay tuned for his content if you want to hear the future of Save the World, as this seems really grim, and my background on Save the World, if you didn't know, is I actually discovered it before BR, it was even a thing. So in 2017, actually during this time, actually like a month ago in June, I saw the trailer for Save the World. And this was so long ago and I was like, oh my god, that looks so awesome. My dad was excited for it too. I waited, I just didn't get it because I was 12, I think, and I just couldn't afford it at the time. So I didn't get it, but later and later came and around when BR came out, I wanted to play it so bad. And I eventually bought it in October of 2017. And yep, I've had it ever since. I love the game. I didn't start really fully playing it until season three or four of BR around that time, so 2018. And you know what? It was a really good game at the start. It was a lot of fun, and then it started to get really boring, and there was no content ever really added to it up to now. So I was going to make a video on it, and... I guess I don't have to now because they answered the question of what's going to happen to save the world and it's really sad so without a further ado I'm going to read the blog post now which they crapped out last night and um, I might be really critical but you'll hear why at the end. So Fortnite saved the world state of development and seriously they put this to us in a damn blog post not a video not any important more other important statement just a blog post which I mean it's something it's better than literally just an employee confirming this on reddit like they've done in the past. So, home-based commanders, Fortnite has always been in a constant state of evolution since we first began development, and so much has changed over the years as we've played and developed the game with you. As we near the three, as we near the three-year anniversary of Fortnite and Save the World's release, we want to share an update on our development plans. Oh, these should be really good. Spoiler alert, they're not. Since the launch of Save the World's early access period, we've added a vast collection of unique heroes and schematics and overhaul of the front end and hero loadouts, a weapon recombobulation system, a climactic narrative experience, no, especially not the word climactic, and more has been shaped and saved the world into a massive collection RPG experience. Wait, climat, climat. Yeah, no, it's not climactic whatsoever, and you'll see why later on. Today, we're bringing Save the World out of early access, and we have decided that it will remain in a premium experience rather than going free to play. Wow, wow. Okay, I'll get into that in a second. Development of new content will slow down after this official release, but the adventure does not end for Save the World. Are you sure about that? Um, all of the founders will have their founders packs upgraded to the next level and unlock all of the rewards including an upgraded pack free courtesy of home base. Yeah, I hope so. Ultimate edition owners will be granted the new metal team leader pack and 8,000 V-Bucks. I don't know if that's the level I'm on. I'm really close to ultimate though, so maybe I'll get it if I get upgraded up to it. Um, the legacy early access label will also be removed from battle royale and creative modes. Okay, wow, that's crazy. And a holdover from our initial Save the World launch. Over the coming months, Save the World will no longer be able to support all of the upcoming Fortnite Battle Royale cosmetic purchases, but your existing library of cosmetics will continue to function in both modes. We'll let everyone know via home base status report when this change will take place. And I'm curious what cosmetics they mean. Does this mean that they're teasing bigger than life cosmetics coming to Fortnite? Like stuff so crazy that might not even be able to fit into Save the World? That would be cool. But if they're literally just going to cancel it, like when you buy a skin from the item shop, like just a 1200 V-Buck plain skin with no back or anything and they won't even be able to let you go in to save the world that really sucks i hope not that's not what they mean 
Um, introducing ventures. This is probably the only silver lining from this, even though it's really probably not going to be that amazing. Maybe a little. Um, long-term re long -term replayability is a key motivation behind our next major feature. Ventures. Ventures is a new season-long excursion that takes place in a seasonal zone with new and unique modifiers to tackle. Each venture season brings in a path of continued progression and fresh seasonal levels to climb. Conquering the challenges and ventures will earn you a seasonal experience which impacts the level of difficulty you encounter, weapons you find, and all seasonal rewards that you earn. Reaching a higher seasonal vent level ventures or what? Seasonal ventures levels unlock supercharger materials that can raise the level of items in your main collection beyond their current cap. We're hard at work on this new feature and we'll share a deeper dive as we close as we close in on its release. Until then, there are more great updates to look forward to as the pirates have invaded home base. I just want to note, by the way, this happened last year. So this is again. Along with them comes a brand new tropical biome, which we did have one last year too. So is this new really? An all new narrative quest line and one of the home bases own to join your team. Okay. Um, moving on down, seasonal Fortnite, uh, save the world seasonal structure changes. As we roll out ventures, we're shifting to an annual recurring seasonal schedule where existing in-game narrative and quests. All right, so next up part of this, um, save the world seasonal structure changes. As we roll out ventures, we're shifting to an annual recurring seasonal schedule where existing in-game narratives and events such as Frost Knight and Dungeons will continue and a seasonal rotation unique to Save the World and separate from Battle Royale. Uh, Save the World's massive library of existing heroes, schematics, and quest lines will rotate in throughout each season with a handful of new quests and heroes coming in a slower pace. I love how they keep mentioning that it's going to be way slower, which it already is. This will happen by the way of quest rewards, event llamas, or within the event store. Homebase will continue to squash bugs and balance issues over the course of each season. No. No, they will not. Maybe little things, but no. Let me tell you a quick story. So, me and my friend Dippy, if you're watching this, Dippy, hey, we did the endurance on the Storm Shield six times, and we never got the rewards. It is bugged, and that is a big load of crap. Seriously. Moving up next, new Save the World packs. I love how they're going to mention this now. Starting Thursday, we're introducing a new Save the World pack series that benefits commanders both new and old. Today, we're happy to announce the first pack of this series, Metal Team Leader Pack, which I love how it's my mascot. Um, the Metal Team Leader Pack introduces a new hero, the Papa Bear Weapon Schematic, the Warning Bell Backlink, the Metal Team Leader Challenges, and Entry to Save the World at a new $20 price point. That's kind of cool. Um, these exclusive Save the World Challenges will bring you 1,000 V-Bucks, 500 X-Ray Tickets, and a legendary Troll Stash Llama. The cosmetic items of this pack will be shared through Battle Royale, Save the World, and creative game modes. Don't worry, Founding Commanders, this new pack series will have no impact on existing Founder daily login rewards on their V-Buck earned, which is now exclusive to Early Access Founders. The current Founders packs and their rewards will be retired once this new pack series becomes available. Okay, so I guess that's being retired. Um, I love this at the bottom. This, all this is sucked, but this is the icing on top. The, on the crap sandwich or crap whatever the adventure continues no it does not that title is a lie while the main story of save the world is complete there are still adventures to be had continue battling the husks in twine peaks take on each save the world seasonal event or evolve your collection by completing each venture season the choice is yours we hope that Save the World and the upcoming Ventures updates will inspire you to continue your adventure and share your stories with us along the way. The Fortnite team. Oh my god. This is a load of crap. Three years and they're canceling the Save the World story. No, it is not complete. It is nowhere near complete. Nowhere. It is not. We're on a cliffhanger. So yes, it is complete on a damn cliffhanger. And this is the biggest disappointment you could have ever brought in us they crapped on our face and they're not even gonna say sorry they're just gonna leave us to rot they're leaving us this is so sad of course they're gonna be giving us those little weapon reskins and skins and all that but nothing major besides his ventures so after that sayonara save the world looks like you're over this game had so much damn potential and they're throwing it away and i am so pissed i am so pissed and i'm so disappointed I'm not even disappointed on how much I've spent on this game. 
with the llamas I spent, which I was $40, with the actual upgrades, I spent over $100. All of this, and all this content will be basically pointless in a few months after they stop giving us that much real content, which is already next to nothing. We get a new skin every week, or like a new, no, not even a skin, we get a new hero, which is just a reskin of an old hero and occasionally new visuals. Okay, we get a new weapon, which is just a reskin of another one. Okay, and yeah, occasionally we get something awesome like Dungeons, which was the last real update to save the world that was good. Since then, we've gotten crap. Absolute crap. And I logged into this game every day, and I loved it so much. I was so excited for the potential of this game so much as the Battle Royale experience. I was so excited for both, and it seems like Epic Games has crapped on both. Battle Royale right now is in a state where I don't really enjoy it as much as I used to, which, I mean, it's alright, I mean, right now it's playable, but it still kind of sucks. And also, Save the World is at a state now where it's going to be basically paragoned, where there's going to be no new content and nothing to look forward to. This game is over, and it is so sad to see. Seriously. And also, they shafted you guys. You can't even play it for free now. I remember how many people were seriously waiting on the fence to get this game because they were like, why should I spend $40 when it's going to be free in a few months, hopefully? Yeah, never happened. I remember theorizing back in 2018 around this time that, oh, in July, they're going to make it free with this link in the Battle Royale. Yeah, never happened. Also, yeah, the seasonal structure change is cool. So now we're going to be getting stuff even slower. Okay. Adventures. Okay, I'm going to go a little optimistic for a second. We do have ventures. And you know what? This does seem a little cool. So maybe we'll have this to look forward to. But that's it. Uh, moving up, yeah. Um, I like that at least they're giving us some sort of compensation, which is going to be nothing in the coming months. Except for the 8,000 V-Bucks. I'll probably be using those if I get them in Battle Royale. Not in Save the World anytime soon. Um, I'm sorry, guys, if I'm being very negative here. But I just want to let you guys know that this was my... This was my... I, I looked forward to this. I loved this game. I loved Save the World. I was looking forward to it. I was looking forward to everything. And they we never got anything that big from it. And I'm so sad. And I'm just so hurt. The storyline was so hilarious at times. You guys will never understand all the fun times I had with all these funny characters. Dennis. Ray. Locke. Uh, there's so many. I'm not even going to name them all. A lot of them are now BR skins. So that's funny. But yeah, seriously, they're gone. It's just going to be a cliffhanger now. And it is so sad to see. Imagine you spent the last three years becoming attached to these characters, wanting to see them succeed. And now you're never going to know. Besides, oh yeah, there's pirates now, by the way. Hey guys, fun. Uh, so yeah, nothing really that important to the story. That sucks. Gameplay is probably going to be shafted after this. And you know what? It just seems like Save the World is going to be crapped on and not supported ever again after a while now from now. Of course, we'll get tiny little content, which of course games still get sometimes. Like I remember even some games after their damn announced, I mean canceled, that still we got little content. Like uh, a little bug fix here and there. Like yeah, that's not really that important to me. I mean bug fixes are, but that's not major content. That's just whatever. So yeah. I mean if it fixes the endurance rounds, okay. I'll be fine with that. But besides that, yeah, I could care less about bug fixes compared to actual important content. So yeah, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think that's really about it. I was going to get so much more pissed and I had to just hold it back because this is awful and I'm really disappointed at what they did to this game. And they know it. They know that this is not the end of the story. They know it. This is not the end of the story whatsoever. Anyways, I think that's really about it, like I already said, and I'm just going to end it here. Hope you all enjoyed this video and hope you all enjoyed my rantings. I mean, it was probably pretty funny. And yeah, I um, really recommend checking out Demon Joe France's video on this. I'll link it down below. Really awesome video. Seriously, this is sad. I'm really disappointed. In Epic Games, you're making me just more and more disappointed of the company that I used to love every day because I remembered when you were on the top of the world and you're just going more down every day and it just really makes me hurt. So anyways, that's really about it. I'll see you guys later.